The painted look of anime is hard to make in 3D, but I'm going to show you how to do it with the help of these nodes. Let me explain. Some of the most alluring aspects of Studio Ghibli and Makoto Shinkai's films are the brush strokes and dabs that give these worlds life. The artists that paint them have years of experience and talent that surpasses anything I could ever paint. But that hasn't stopped me from trying in 3D. In part one of this series, I showed you how to set up your scene and render settings for anime success. And in this video, I'll teach you the first of two methods I use to recreate that painted look with just a few simple nodes. Hi, welcome to the Comfy Mug channel. My name is Christian, and I spend countless hours learning how to make anime stuff in Blender so that it's quick and easy to learn for you. If you want to learn how to make anything from anime rocks to trees and fire and clouds in Blender, then you've come to the right place. So subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on any future tips or secrets. And check out my Patreon for pre-made anime assets. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to the founding patrons of the Comfy Mug. Your early support means so much to me and I couldn't make these videos without you. Thank you guys. Now, the top three best nodes I could ever recommend for making any anime shader are the color ramp, noise, and Voronoi textures. I use them in nearly every shader I make and there are a few different variations you can set them up in. By changing the Voronoi to Smooth F1, plugging the noise into a color ramp and plugging the color ramp into the smoothness of our Voronoi, we can have a lot of control over the smoothness of the Voronoi's edges. We can play around with the noise, change it to 2D, crunch the color ramp values, the variations are limitless. But wait, there's more! If you enable Node Wrangler in your system preferences, select the Voronoi texture, and press Ctrl T, you'll get a set of useful nodes. By pressing Shift A, we'll search for a mixed color node, plug it into the scale, change this to white, and plug in another noise texture to make a distortion control. Now, we can turn the factor up or down to get some natural or outright crazy looks, but setting the noise back to 3D and its scale to 5, then the factor to 0.3 will give us a slight distortion, making our Voronoi look like soft brush strokes. Other controls to play around with are the Voronoi's detail and randomness. Changing the Voronoi from Euclidean to Manhattan can also change the type of brush, so to speak, that you're using. Duplicate these techniques and mix them together, and I think you'll find it's pretty easy to make anime textures. I mean, I remade this texture from Spirited Away simply by using the techniques I just shared with you and a few gradients, but there's plenty more tricks I have to share with you for recreating anime in Blender. So remember to like the video and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss the next part of this series, and check out the link to my Patreon in the description. A big thank you once again to all of my founding patrons, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you here next time at the Comfy Mug.